Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Sag. Thank you God for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Sag, you start with the Four of Cups. All right. Yeah, uh, then the moon. Okay. And then we have the eight of wands. And what's clarifying the eight of wands is the will of fortune. Okay. All right. Um, so it looks like there's an energy of somebody missed out on an opportunity. So now they're kind of withdrawn, regretful, remorseful, feeling a little bit of resentment. Um, daydreaming they're being introspective now about what happened contemplating you know taking some time to reflect on what happened somebody could just be thinking so much and kind of internalizing everything that they're losing outer awareness I mean there could be a bit of self absorb absorption here like somebody's just very self absorbed um, they kind of just like referring everything back to themselves um, because they missed this opportunity or this blessing, um, this gift, because they, they could have been concerned with other things, other people. And there's an energy of somebody missing, missing you, Sad, or you missing someone, okay? They miss you because you guys are separated with the moon here. There's so many unexpressed emotions and there's also some repressed emotions. Someone didn't wasn't truly honest about how they felt. And now at night, when the veil is thin, they're feeling everything. Um, it's taking them into an uncomfortable place, whomever this is. Could be you, Sag, or the other person. Could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and Pisces highlighted here. Somebody's over something. Somebody gets it that it, it, it's over or it's going to it's, it's coming to a place of being over because somebody's acting very independently in a connection or there's separation here. Somebody is holding something back. Somebody's lying to other people and themselves about how they feel about, you know, a particular person, place or thing or just you altogether, Sag. Somebody could be trying to manifest a different outcome here, trying to manifest a different fortune, um, a different fate. Because sometimes the will of fortune talks about fate. They're trying to manifest a different fate with their soulmate. You know that rhymes, but anyway. Um, someone could be fantasizing. I mean, these these cards together, they kind of read masturbation to. Someone's doing some type of work in order to get a different outcome here in terms of, uh, this could be energy work too. Trying to change someone's destiny and or fate. They could be doing this, you know, in secrecy, under the veil, behind the veil. It could be for that they want this person to come back or they want their fortune to kind of dwindle or, or fall apart so that they have to come back or somebody wants something to happen here to where it changes the course it changes the the turning of the wheel they go maybe it goes backwards you know it doesn't go forward so someone wants to change um destiny here the wheel of fortune talks about destiny too um someone's looking for that prime opportunity to um yeah for this uh, destiny to change or they're trying to create it because somebody is working on themselves, they're concerned with themselves, they're concerned with their business, their career, their job, they're going to school. Somebody is not focused on love right now, focused on connections, they're focused on themselves and just bettering themselves, well, however that is. Somebody felt like they gave too many chances over and over again, they were doing something in this connection. And it was, um, it was to no avail. So somebody says, you know what, you know, let's let this die or um, it's over. It's definitely over because there is somebody missing the other person. 
And somebody is saying, look, I have things I haven't told you. Um, that they're a cheater or a cheat. Okay. Um, but somebody wants someone back because they feel like they're very sexy or they will make a sexy partner, a sexy wife, maybe even husband here. This is what I have for you, Sag. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Sagittarius. Many blessings to you.